we are discussing a few questions from past year questions first question what does the direction of thumb indicate in the right hand thumb rule as we know that as per the right hand thumb rule thumb finger we are placing in a current direction remaining four fold fingers will indicate magnetic field direction as per that the direction of thumb finger will indicate electric electric current second question how will you use as how will you use a solenoid to magnetize a steel bar we have taken a solenoid solenoid we can able to define a conducting wire having n number of loop lines with the same radius we can call it as a solenoid between that we are placing steel bar now these two ends we have connected to battery in this case solenoid is giving the magnetic field lines solenoid is giving magnetic field lines we have placed a steel bar at the axle of the solenoid then this is solenoid uh, this steel bar can get magnetized third question an alternating current has a frequency of 50 h how many times does it change in direction in one second alternating current has the frequency f is equal to 50 h how many times n number how much it changes its direction in one second one second as per the definition of frequency frequency is equal to number of oscillations in unit time according to the number of oscillations number of times is equal to frequency into time which is 50 h into 1 second is equal to 50 numbers next question in what situation do we use fleming right hand rule as per the fleming right hand rule we can able to identify the magnetic field direction to find the magnetic field direction to find the magnetic field direction we are using fleming's right hand rule fleming's right hand rule <clears throat> this answer we have to give next what will be the frequency of an alternating current if its direction changes after every 0.01 second what will be the frequency of alternating current frequency of alternating current if it is changes every 0.01 second f is equal to 1 by t so f is equal to 1 by 0.01 which means 100 h which means 100 h next what is a solenoid draw the pattern of a magnetic field lines of a solenoid through which a steady current flows what is a solenoid a conducting wire having n number of loop lines 
n number of loop lines with the same radius with the same radius called solenoid draw the pattern neatly we have to draw that a copper wire n number of circles then these two ends connected to battery positive and negative current flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal negative terminal now the top of the solenoid the down of the solenoid we have to draw that uniform magnetic field lines let's say this is south pole and north pole we have to keep arrow marks top and down through the axle <coughs> magnetic field lines are straight line this concept we have to be next next question draw the pattern of magnetic field lines in the field produced by a current carrying circular loop current carrying circular loop take a copper wire made it as a circuit it's a loop line take a cardboard sheet place two holes insert the copper wire through the holes <coughs> and connect it to battery terminals assume that current is flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal as per maxwell right hand thumb rule place the thumb finger along to the current direction remaining four fold fingers will give the magnetic field direction at the same time of the surface of this cardboard sheet magnetic field line a current current is coming downward direction place the thumb finger towards the downward direction remaining four fold fingers will give that magnetic field direction between the centers of these two wires we are placing straight lines next next question you are giving the following current time graphs over here name the type of the current in each case once you can observe the first diagram current is parallel to the time axis here current is fluctuating now name the type of the current in each case the first case we can call it as dc current second case we can call it as alternating current dc current direct current alternating current ac current now dc current frequency zero frequency will be zero ac cur current having existence of the frequency frequency is existed so this we have to write identify one of identify one source for each of this current the first one dc current the source is battery ac current source is generator this answer we have to give next identify the poles of the magnet figure 1 and figure 2 now you can see that in figure one as you know that magnetic field lines always away from the north pole towards the south pole away from the north pole towards the south pole north pole to south pole magnetic field lines are away from the north pole towards the south pole this is the way next what are the permanent magnet and electromagnet give two uses of each Permanent magnet is magnetism 
magnetic property always existed always existed in permanent magnet electromagnet when we supply electric current when we supply electric current magnetism will be existed magnetism will be existed <clears throat> give that two uses of each permanent magnet we are using in toys domestic purpose all domestic utilities we are using permanent magnet while electromagnet we are using in industrial purpose which means electric cranes etc next question a magnetic compass shows a deflection when placed in air current carrying wire how will the deflection of the compass get affected if the current in the wire is increased support your answer with the reason take a copper wire a b is a copper wire we have connected two battery terminals we have connected two battery terminals positive and negative <clears throat> now assume that current is flowing through the conducting wire a to b place a compass needle then the compass needle is getting fluctuated which is rotating if you increase the current if we increase the current in a wire fluctuations also will be increased if you increase in the current in a wire the magnetic field area also will be increased fluctuations also will be increased and the area of the magnetic field region also will be increased these answers has to give next question a student performs an experiment to study the magnetic effect of current around a current carrying straight conductor with help of a magnetic compass he reports that that first question the degree of deflected of, deflection of the magnetic compass increases when compass is moved away from the conductor second question the degree of deflection of a magnetic compass increases when the when the current through the conductor is increased <clears throat> now a student is performed current carrying conductor in a straight line just now we have discussed a and b is a copper wire we have connected to battery once we connected to battery terminals obviously current is flowing from point a to point b now the degree of deflection of a magnetic compass increases when the compass is moved away from the conductor now the first one is the degree of deflection of a magnetic compass increases when the compass is moved away from the conductor this is wrong from the current carrying conductor if you place a magnetic compass away from the current carrying conductor obviously the deflections will be decrease the degree of deflection of the magnetic compass increases when the current through the conductor is increased yes whenever we are increasing current through ab copper wire then obviously the magnetic deflections also will be increase clear next there are two poles over here poles marked as a p and q as north pole or south pole is yes. now give you a reason identify the poles marked p and q as north pole or south pole give reasons of your answer now p or q both are north poles because once we can study the uh, magnetic field lines in a bar magnet 
magnetic field lines always away from the north towards the south always away from the north in this picture the magnetic field lines are away from the north here also the north so both are the repulsion forces next a student while studying the force expressed by a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field records the following observations the force experienced by the conductor increases as the current is increased the force experienced by the conductor decreases as the strength of the magnetic field is increased which of the two observations is correct and why once we can discuss the force in a current carrying conductor take a retard stand and suspend the uh, iron rod freely to the retard stand now both ends of the iron rod connected to battery terminals now current is flowing from one end to other end absolutely magnetic field also will be formed then we have placed extra harsh magnetic field in this case this iron rod will be fluctuate <clears throat> this is the concept over here now the first question the force experienced by the conductor increases the current is increased yes if current is increases magnetic field lines also increasing magnetic induction also increasing henceforth force also will be increased second one the force experienced by the conductor decreases as the strength of the magnetic field is increased no if strength of the magnetic field increases absolutely the force also will be increased it won't be decrease it won't be decrease it will be increase so this is the concept over here next question a coil of insulated wire is connected to galvanometer what would be seen if a bar magnet with its south pole towards one face of its coil move quickly towards it move quickly away from it place near to one of its face name the phenomena involved this is three mass question a coil of insulated wire a coil of insulated wire connected to galvanometer now there is a bar magnet bar magnet with its south pole towards to one face south pole is here north pole is here <clears throat> the first question move quickly towards it if you insert the bar magnet inside of the solenoid inside of the solenoid this is south pole obviously the galvanometer will be deflected galvanometer deflects right side now quickly away from it galvanometer reading will show us zero galvanometer reading will comes to rest position will comes to rest position now third question placed near its one face if you keep on place it over here the bar magnet near to this galvanometer won't be deflect galvanometer reading needle won't deflect next name the phenomena involved this answer is magnetic induction magnetic induction next describe an activity to draw a magnetic field lines outside a bar magnet from one pole to another list any two properties of magnetic field lines 
take a bar magnet bar magnet having two poles one is north pole other one is south pole now the magnet field lines always comes from north to south like this towards to south pole away from north pole towards to south pole yes this is the first question answer list the properties of magnetic field lines first property magnetic field lines always comes from north to south second one magnetic field lines are uniform no two magnetic field lines no two magnetic field lines will be intersect each other will be intersect each other next explain two ways explain two ways to induce current in a coil when it is induced current produced highest state the rule used to find the direction of induced current this is the three mass question for this answer the two ways induced current in a coil take the solenoid connect it to galvanometer take a bar magnet insert it and take an away then due to induced current galvanometer will be deflect take a plastic pipe this is a primary coil connected to battery this is secondary coil connected to galvanometer in this case due to the primary coil magnetic field will be generate magnetic field will be induced in a secondary coil due to that galvanometer will be deflected okay <clears throat> when the induced current produce highest yes if using that second method induced magnetic field induced current produce in the highest state the rule to find the direction of induced current to find the induced current we are using fleming right hand rule as per fleming right hand rule take the right hand center finger index finger thumb finger this is center finger this is index finger this is thumb finger okay index finger will give that magnetic field magnetic field center finger will give induced current thumb finger will indicate direction of current 
So according to that, while using Fleming's right hand rule, we can able to identify the induced current. Next, next question. What are the factors on which the magnetic field produced by the current carrying circular loop depends? What happens if the current through the coil is reversed? Repeating again, what are the factors on which the magnetic field produced by the current carrying circular loop depends? The first question answer, in a circular loop, the first factor, if we increase electric current, if we increase electric current, obviously magnetic field will be increased. Second one, the distance between two wires decreases. Distance between two wires decrease, then magnetic field will be increased. These two points we have to write it. Next, what happens if the current through a coil is reversed? Magnetic field directions will be changed. Magnetic field directions will be changed. Obviously, once current direction is changes, magnetic field direction also will be changed. Now, the first case, as per Maxwell right hand thumb rule, thumb finger we can place along to the current direction, which means stop direction. Remaining four fold fingers will give the magnetic field direction. At the same time, current direction is downwards, magnetic field directions are clockwise. Now, second case, now current direction itself changing. Obviously, thumb finger direction will be changed. Magnetic field directions also will be changed. So this answer we have to write. Next question. Why does a current carrying conductor kept in a magnetic field experience a force? On what factors does the direction of the force depends? Name the state, the rule used to determine determination of direction of this force. Now, as we discussed, iron rod we have freely suspended. This iron rod we have connected to the battery. Yes. Current carrying conductor kept in a magnetic field. Current carrying conductor already producing a magnetic field. Still, we give an extra harsh magnet. Then iron rod is experiencing a force. The reason behind harsh magnet also having the magnetic field lines. These magnetic field lines are intersect with the existing magnetic field lines due to the current carrying conductor. Due to that, due to magnetic induction, due to magnetic induction, this iron rod is experiencing a force. This is the first one. On what factors does the direction of the force depends? The first one, to increase electric current, to increase electric current, to increase magnetic field. These two are the factors to experiencing a force over here. Name and state the rule used to determine the direction of force. Fleming left hand rule. Fleming left hand rule. According to rule, center finger along to the current direction Index finger will give that magnetic field direction. Obviously, thumb finger will indicate force direction. We can able to calculate while using Fleming's left hand rule. Next question is, Swati draws a magnetic field lines to field close to the axis of a current carrying circular loop. As she move away from the center of the circular loop, she observes 
that the lines keeps on diverging how will you explain her observation second question write two properties of magnetic field lines the first question explanation if current carrying conductor in a loop line explain the magnetic field lines the same answer we can give here take a cardboard sheet place the two holes on the cardboard sheet insert a copper wire in a circular loop both the ends connected to battery terminals current is flowing from one end to another end yes now magnetic field lines are produced over here between these two magnetic field lines are straight lines this explanation we have to give write the two properties of magnetic field lines the first one magnetic field lines are uniform uniform magnetic field lines no two magnetic field lines no two magnetic field lines will intersect so this answer we have to give next question why does the direction of thumb indicates in the right hand thumb rule repeating again what does the direction of thumb indicates in the right hand thumb rule in what way this rule is different from fleming left hand rule yes fleming or uh, maxwell right hand thumb rule maxwell right hand thumb rule the thumb finger will indicates electric current and how this maxwell right hand thumb rule is different from the fleming left hand rule in fleming left hand rule the same thumb finger will indicate force direction maxwell right hand thumb rule the thumb finger will indicate electric current direction so this answer we have to give next question what is meant by the magnetic field lines list any two properties of magnetic field lines magnetic field lines are imaginary lines from north pole to south pole magnetic field lines are imaginary field lines from north to south pole any two properties already we have discussed magnetic field lines are always comes from north north pole to south pole magnetic field lines are uniform no two magnetic field lines will be intersect each other this answer we can give next question what is a solenoid draw the diagram of the solenoid what is its main use a current carrying conductor having a number of loop lines we can call it as a solenoid now we can draw once again positive terminal to negative terminal current is flowing the students according to the diagram you have to write in cbse examination top end top surface here the down surface magnetic field lines are north to south <clears throat> through the axle south to north this is next given activity to show magnetic field produced by a current carrying circular coil take a cardboard sheet place the two holes insert a copper wire and connect it to battery terminals assume that current is flowing from at point a top direction at point b downward direction 
as per maxwell right hand thumb rule place the thumb finger top direction remaining four fold fingers will give the magnetic field direction once you can notice that at the same surface of the cardboard we have noticed anti clockwise and clockwise magnetic field lines state the rule to determine the direction of force experienced by current carrying conductor in a magnetic field how will this force get affected on doubling the magnitude of current reversing the direction of current flow here the rule to find out the force fleming light right hand rule how will the force affected doubling up the magnitude of the current if current increases the force also will be increase reversing the direction of the current flows if the current direction reversed then the force direction also will be change force direction also will be change this answer we can give next question a coil made of insulating copper wire is connected to galvanometer what will happen to the deflections of the galvanometer if a bar magnet is pushed into the coil and the pulled out of it give reasons for your answer and the name phenomena involved this is the similar kind of question take a solenoid connected to galvanometer take a bar magnet over here whenever we are inserting the bar magnet inside of the solenoid obviously galvanometer needle will be deflex if this bar magnet is far away from the solenoid galvanometer needle will come to the rest position this phenomena we can called magnetic induction magnetic induction this answer we have to write next question state fleming's right hand rule give an application of this rule as per fleming right hand rule we are taking the right hand center finger index finger thumb finger center finger will give the current direction <clears throat> index finger will give the magnetic field direction thumb finger will give force direction okay now mechanical energy to electrical energy because we are giving a force we are calculating induced current while using fleming's right hand rule so mechanical energy to electrical energy apparatus is generator generator draw the figure of current carrying solenoid and show the magnetic field lines inside and outside it compare the pattern of a field with the magnetic field around a bar magnet this is the solenoid diagram north to south north to south through the axial south to north
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन When is an electric current said to be overloaded? State two measures to avoid it. What name is given to the situation in which the live and the neutral wires accidentally come in contact? State the role of safety device in this situation. This question, 2022 CBS students, this uh, this chapter is deleted, but still for the knowledge purpose. i'm sharing this overloaded the concept here from one socket if you place n number of appliances in our house there is a electric socket if you connect the same socket three way plug if you use fan a refrigerator iron box computer this kind of system we can call it as overloaded state two measures to avoid it the first one every appliance every appliance has individual contact yes what name is given the situation in which the live and the neutral wire accidentally comes in contact then live wire and neutral wire if it is in contact then the phenomena short circuit state the role of safety device in this situation we are using electrical fuse all right next with help of the neat diagram describe how you can generate induced current in a circuit yes for this solenoid connected to galvanometer bar magnet so whenever the mechanical energy applies over here electrical energy we are identifying through galvanometer as per fleming right hand rule we are identifying induced current next question consider a circular loop of a wire laying in a plane of the table let the current pass through the loop clockwise apply the right hand rule to find out the direction of magnetic field inside and outside the field take a cardboard sheet insert the copper wire connected to battery now current is flowing top to down if current direction is topwards there is a magnetic field lines current direction is downwards this is the way magnetic field lines yes as per maxwell right hand thumb rule place the thumb finger along to the current direction remaining four fold fingers will give that magnetic field lines if the distance between the two wires are far then magnetic field lines are straight line now we are understanding the answers are same questions are keep on changing it give you the same answer for each and every repeated questions what is a solenoid a wire having a number of loop lines with the same radius we can call it as a solenoid <clears throat> draw the magnetic field lines in a solenoid here north to south north to south through the axle south to north 
compare the field pattern with a magnet field around a bar magnet in bar magnet again north and south or else you can write north and south over here north to south so this is the way we have to give magnetic field lines towards away from north pole okay next explain an activity to show that a current carrying conductor experiences a force when placed in a magnetic field state the rule which gives the direction of force acting on the conductor c question an electron moves perpendicular to the magnetic field what would be the direction of force experienced by the electron current carrying conductor experienced a force again the same experiment you have to write take an uh, iron rod freely suspended and both ends connected to battery terminals then magnetic field is produced place harsh magnet obviously iron rod is moving we are finding the rule fleming's left hand rule as per the fleming's left hand rule the thumb finger is giving force direction now there is a magnetic field c question electron is moving it experiences the force outwards of the screen as per fleming's left hand rule next question again the same we have discussed circular loop also we have discussed explain with the help of a labeled diagram the distribution of magnetic field lines due to a current through a circular loop why it is that if a current carrying coil has n turns the field produced at any point is n times the large as produced by a single turn once you can notice that if loop line is only one turn we are identifying the magnetic field but at the same time the same loop line having n number of circles we are identifying the strong magnetic fields the reason behind once the current direction changes obviously magnetic field directions are changing but in a solenoid as per the clockwise rule we are identifying the magnetic field lines clockwise rule will say that if current direction is north pole if current direction is anti clockwise that end is north pole if current direction is clockwise that end is south pole okay if this is clockwise assume that current is flowing this is the way this is the clockwise direction so this end is south pole opposite end is north pole next with the help of an activity explain the method of inducing electric current in coil with moving magnets state the rule to find the direction of electric current thus generated in a coil the first question already we discussed there is a solenoid connected to battery sorry connected to galvanometer and we have taken the bar magnet of north pole and south pole then obviously galvanometer deflection changes we are identifying the induced current while using fleming right hand rule fleming right hand rule second one two circular coils p and q are kept closer to each other of which the coil p carries a current what you will observe in coil q there is a primary coil let's say p we have connected to battery then nearby secondary coil secondary coil name is q what happens in q due to current carrying conductor 
magnetic field is generated magnetic field is induced in coil q then we are getting again the electric current fluctuations in a galvanometer now in that a question if current in the p coil is changed if the current in the p coil is changed still the result is same in a q but a galvanometer will give that opposite deflection than previous B question, if both the coils are moved in the same direction with the same speed, give reason. Let it be. Both P and Q coils are moving in the same direction with the same speed, then induced current will be remains same. Hope this questionnaire is very helpful to the PBS students.
फास्ट का मरक थर्टी सैकंड 